Making and personalising your own vignettes. In previous tutorials, we have applied textures to images as we created our effects. Here, we merge a black and white mask to the original image using a screen merge type set at 100% opacity. This creates a vignette which fades the edges of the image gradually to black or white. We are fading to white in this example. When we use the screen mode, the black in our mask becomes transparent and the white superimposes itself on the original image. Actually, our mask is grayscale, so some parts of the mask are graduated in degrees of grey. Pure black becomes transparent, but the greys show only degrees of semi-transparency, as can be seen. Had we used the multiply merge type, then pure white becomes transparent and the black elements are superimposed on the original image. Again, grey shows in only degrees of semi-transparency, as before. Screen and multiply merge types are the main ones used when applying grayscale masks. Let's observe. We could publish the effect at this stage, but for our purposes this stage has been saved as a PE file. We can personalise our vignette effect by adding text. Let's leave the effect editor canvas and select the text feature. It is probably best just to watch the demonstration at this point, as it is very intuitive. As we come to the end of the demonstration, we can see that we can combine what we have just done with the previous stage by right-clicking on Custom Effect and selecting Merge with Text. Custom Effect now includes the text element we have just created. If we right-click on Custom Effect and select Manual Edit, we are immediately taken back to the Effect Editor canvas. To tidy up our expanded effect, we simply click the Auto Layout button. Again, we could publish our effect at this stage, but let's look at what might be a surprise, that is, the batch editing function. Again, this stage has been saved as a PE file. We can batch edit a number of files using our new effects by opening the file menu and selecting batch apply effect and selecting appropriate files as shown. Simply watch what happens when we click the Open button. This feature is unbelievably powerful. If we open our Sources folder, we can see the results. Alongside our original batch files, are new files with the same name but having a PE extension. We can transfer these new files to a suitable folder to meet our needs. This technique works with any valid effect and is truly amazing to use. Hope you are more acquainted with the workings of Smart Photo Editor. 
the skills you are developing are transferable to your own ideas for effects. Look forward to seeing some of your results. In the meantime, have fun!